welcome back to another counter side video. So today's video, we are going to discuss Awakened Seo Yun's strategy and build. But before that, if you want an updated counter side videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. All right, guys. So here we are at the Seo Yun's profile. So she's called Alter Aggressive. Don't know what that means, but sounds cool. Then you have her as a counter, definitely an Awakened SSR and an Awakened Ranger, ground type, and she is all around attack, which means she can attack both air and ground. Then for her stats, guys, she has a couple of strengths, namely her HP, which is 38,097, which is actually above average. Her attack is also high at 5340 then her crit is at above average at 722 her weaknesses would be her defense evasion and hit rate defense would be 695 um hit rate would be 920 and your evasion would be 590 all of them are at below average guys so let's go to her skills right now Okay, so as you can see, her skill, so Seoyun's skill info, basic attack is actually um, a valid hit only of one. So attacks a single target in front with various firearms. So levels 2, 3, 4, and 5 will give her a total of a plus 20% additional damage. Her passive skill, guys, is arm synchronization, which is an AoE. Valid hits is 2. Increase skill cooldown by 8 seconds for all enemies in a 7 meter radius in front and knocks them backwards. Okay, so for those who are healing teams, this is not going to work for you. So, might as well keep the healers out of her way. And after every third basic attack, she delivers an enhanced attack. Summons up to four telekinetic rifles and increases her telekinetic rifles attack by 5% for 12 seconds with a max of a plus 25%. Okay, so these telekinetic rifles take damage for her. Seiyun moves backwards when her HP drops to 70% or below. So she basically increases her, her, her distance between... The enemies um, falls back uh, uh, with HP going below 70 and knocking surrounding enemies backward in her facing direction. So the opposite direction then summons one additional telekinetic rifle. Her attack speed, guys, increases from level 2, 3, and 4 with a maximum of 20%. And her level 5 passive evasion is activated again if hp drops to 40 or below so there will be two passive activations at level 40 and at level 70 okay so she's very she, she's very evasive she i think based on this one she will be high on survivability um next would be her special skill which is divine slash it's a 21 second cooldown special skill with valid hits of three Swings Mistletine, inflicting AoE damage on enemies in front. So I see a big spear actually behind her. I don't know if it's a spear or something, but it looks like a spear. The afflicted enemies can't recover health for 9 seconds. <laughs> Again, very serious for your healers. In Gauntlet, they receive as much damage as their healing amount. So again, it's best not to put out any healers when she's around. Bosses and ships uh, excluded. Level one, uh, level two, three, four is a damage of a plus twenty five percent. Then you have a debuff duration of plus six seconds for your special skill. Okay. Next is going to be your ultimate skill. This uh, decide the. I'm not sure how to how to pronounce this is dice dice side cleaver okay let's leave it be guys so it's a 52 second cooldown with valid hits of three 
increase uh, concentrates energy into missile time and throws it in a straight line inflicting aoe damage multiple times the first attack randomly removes one non-permanent buff from the affected target additionally summons a telekinetic rifle after this skill so damage for this skill increases at a maximum of a of 25 percent up to uh, so uh, level two three and four then for level five for ultimate is going to be a special and ultimate skills also activate passive so again for her passive alone guys she's going to be a beast and overall she is going to wreak havoc particularly now in pvp where i was able to use her earlier and i'm very happy how she performed let's go first to her gear management and see what type of gear she actually needs i actually had to had to look for her gear um i actually um swapped them out for a another unit because i was doing the um danger close earlier but now i have her kind of her temporary gear as of the moment but they're all cdr or, or or skill cooldown or skill haste so basically what i'm saying is she's going to perform well with cdr gear um skill cooldown gear and um preferably her second this one the yellow one that's running around preferably it's going to be skill haste as well okay if you want to go the route of all attack speed it can be done as well but you have to have a skill haste for this yellow skill here okay so again gear set you're gonna have a choice of cdr or attack speed but your gear stat here again for the second to the last line should be skill haste to compensate for um the attack speed for gear set or to add to add additional skill haste if your gear set is cdr already so ideally for for say you or awaken say you your t6 gears um should be a um, maze gear at this point that is what is available to us because it has anti-ground damage and anti-ground damage resistance both for weapon and armor and for her accessory it should be um gorgeous crown because um you're gonna have to make sure that for example this stat this uh the first stat up here should be hit so again if it's going to be gorgeous movement it's going to be evasion as well so it's go it, it should be as you can see it's gorgeous movement that i have extra I'm, i don't have a choice i have to put it on her so it's evasion but if it's gorgeous crown this evasion is going to be hit okay so let's take a look at guys her her what they call this her skills how to deploy her in more or less um some tips on how to play her uh, especially for pvp okay um i did a couple of runs for her in pvp mostly she is deployed right after your defender or somebody in front of her probably a striker or defender she is actually very good against um other defenders because she's a ranger deals a lot of damage as you can see a lot of telekinetic rifles are appearing and <laughs> i wouldn't want to face her guys she's going to she's going to basically um strip you down of any armor that you have because of all the firepower that she is bringing so again she ideally she'll be deployed earlier um right behind a defender to you know to take advantage of the buffs or sorry of the debuffs that she gives to the opponent to the other side so as you can see there let's take a look at her uh, special skill so that's it then your um ultimate it's going to be beautiful guys so as you can see there she throws missile time I'm, I'm i'm not sure i'm saying it right i hope i do but again very good skill and 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 based on the gear that you saw here when she had evasion she had a little bit of survivability but again evasion is not going to fit her she should have hit 
for her accessory as the primary stat. Again, she needs to have her hit um, increased. So anyway, she's going to jump at the back once uh, her HP goes down. And more or less, that is it, guys. She is very simple to deploy. Very, very easy to use. Um, she is actually survivable on her own. But again, you still have to keep her alive. So as you can see here, let's just summon a couple of air and ground units here and turn on the AI. So both of them are going forward. So as you can see, she can hit air and ground units uh, and pushes them back, actually, if you can see there. So there's a pushback. That is why I realized that when you have an opposing Awakened Seo Yun, you are being pushed back, really. So again, let's take a look at her ultimate skill the last time before I give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so we're done here and let's get out. Okay, guys, so as for Seo Yun, well, she's the best ranger that we have, number one. Number two, she is going to provide a new dynamic which defenders have been dominating so far. You have Hilde, you have Awakened Hilde, you have Awakened Na Yubin. A lot of defenders have come out which are very good. You have Serapel, you have uh, Dominic King. So again, she will be a big threat. She will be a big threat uh, to your mechs, your healing teams. Those who are addicted to a lot of healers in their teams, they're going to regret building you know, healing teams at this point. For PvE, guys, she's going to be superb in PvE. Probably a 11 over 10. Um, she will be good in Shadow Palace. Uh, if you pair her, especially with, uh, with A. Yuna, um, the two of them can really clear that um, stage or that, or that uh, content very fast. And if you're going to bring her in PvP, she's going to be a 10 out of 10. She's got a lot of tricks up her sleeve. Um, again, um, increase in cooldown for the enemy, anti-heal, debuffs. And again, she will make a lot of units cry. So again, for those who are bringing Abraham to, you know, to the battlefield, especially in PvP, so you might as well make sure that she's banned for that week okay she's gonna be she's gonna be really 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 uh you know hard to deal with um i've encountered her previously in pvp and again even if you if you have your own you still have to deal with the other um uh, awaken see you on, on the other side so again amazing unit to have um really really happy that i got her today and hope that you also got her from your summons okay guys so um for those who have stayed this far in this video please consider subscribing also please click that bell icon and also put a like to this video guys take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here